It's spring and summer's around the corner and what happens in spring and summer? Mostly. Prom and weddings and all that fun stuff. You just, oh, it's just fun, fun, fun. I get so excited. I love weddings, I love prom and I love all that good stuff. I'm currently planning my own so it takes a lot of stress but it's all worth the excitement. I'm so happy. So I figured I'd do a couple of uh, makeup tutorials that you guys can do on your own series of makeup tutorials that you guys can do on yourself if you are interested in achieving this makeup look then stay tuned <laughs> Hello ladies! Okay, so I already put my SPF on my face, so if I'm a bit grey, that is why. I did my brows as well, just to save some time. Now I'm priming my eyelids with Essence Eyelid Primer. And I'm going to be taking this beautiful matte brown eyeshadow colour and just applying this onto my crease, just to warm up my crease and to uh, create a uh, base. Next, I'm applying this beautiful champagne color called Rice Paper by MAC and just placing this under my brow bone just to add some highlight. Now that that's done, I'm going to be taking some tape. Now it's medical tape. I'm a nursing student and this is the only thing I could find. <laughs> and I'm just going to be dulling it, dulling it out just so it doesn't irritate my skin once I apply it. Basically just to create a sharper line with my eyeshadow and to neaten things up a little. Next I'm taking this beautiful palette. Ooh, look, it matches my shirt. That wasn't on purpose, guys, I swear. But I'm, or was it? But I'm just going to be taking this matte black eyeshadow and applying it to my outer corner, um, the outer corner of my eye. And just creating a V on the outer corners of my eye and just buffing that into the outer corners of my eye. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be taking this deep purple and just applying it to the mid, mid outer section of my eyelid and basically creating another V that meets the black. Like this. Next, I'm going to be taking this really nice uh, pretty light purple color <laughs> and adding it to the inner corners of my eyelid and my tear duct area. Oh, it's Ibrahim and Sammy. I love these two. They came to party. Next, I'm taking this beautiful gold color and applying it right in between the light purple and the deep purple and kind of making a transition color, just blending it out and buffing it into the two colors to make it glow. Now that I'm done dealing with um, heavy eyeshadows, I'm going to take this lash glue and basically use a angled brush and just sweep it on the lash line of my eye and before that dries I'm going to be taking a very beautiful gold glittery eyeshadow and just taking a smaller shaded brush and just pushing that into the glue Next, I'm going to be taking Wedge, and it's a matte um, nude taupe color, and just putting this on my crease just to buff it out a bit and make sure that there's no harsh lines or edges. Now, I'm taking this jet black um, liquid eyeliner and just going over my lash line, but not over the, not too much over the gl glitter, just enough so my the glitter can show. And yeah, you'll see. Now I'm taking my mascara and I'm just applying that to my lashes before I put on my uh, fake lashes. 
And then I'm going to be working with my base, so I'm going to be using this corrector for under my eyes and around my mouth, because that's where I have darkness and hyperpigmentation, slightly. I'm just going to let that dry before I apply my foundation, and I'm going to be mixing these two colors together and applying it with a small uh, brush just so it doesn't get on my eyeshadow so I can be more precise. And now that that's done, I'm going to be setting my foundation and concealer with banana powder and HD um, translucent powder by Makeup Forever. Just cleaning off my lips. Next, I'm going to be applying this pretty lilac um, periwinkle color under my eye. Just sweeping that under my eyes. And taking that same matte brown color we first worked with and bringing that on the outer corners of my eye and kind of meeting the periwinkle. <laughs> periwinkle. Perfect. Now I'm going to be taking an angled brush with some black eyeshadow and just sweeping it under the brown and periwinkle color that we were working with, creating a straight line. Perfect. I put on some lashes and I also put on some black eyeliner on my waterline. Now the lashes need to dry, so they take quite a bit, uh, quite a long time. So if they look kind of shiny and glittery, it's because they're just drying. They dry black, so not to worry. Now I'm just going to be adding some bronzer onto my face and contouring my nose. And if you'd like to know how I contour and highlight, I have another video on that that I can put down in the description box. And I'm just defining my cheekbones and warming up my face a little. And I'm wearing this beautiful purple, lilac purple, is it lilac? Blush on my cheeks. Now, excuse my hair, it's like screaming to come out. It's literally trying to fight my hat and like peek out. And now I'm pu putting on this beautiful highlight color by Sephora. So pretty. It looks white, but it actually reflects gold. Hmm? Huh? Now I'm working with my lips and I'm gonna apply this lip liner and it cut. So I used a Birthday Suit by Sleek and I used Essence Nude Lip Liner. And this is the finished look. I threw on a very pretty uh, soft pink silk um, hijab and it's actually a um, piece of material that's uh, silk that I kind of just wrapped in a bun. And if you guys want to know how I did that, then let me know. And I will list all the items I've used in the description box down below. And I hope this tutorial was easy to follow and helpful. And I try to stick to one palette so you guys are not um, having to get a million different things from a, mil a million different brands and stuff. So like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, ladies. Bye.